Anyway, uh, yeah, we've got Leah Lacroix uh, talking about Wicked Data next. So over to you, Leah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. So, yeah, I have about um, 20 minutes to give you a brief introduction to Wikidata. I already know that it's not going to be enough. So what I can say now is that, um, yeah, this is going to be a general introduction so we can all be on the same level um, of knowledge about Wikidata and so we can uh, continue discussing about it later. The slides will also be online if you want to click on the links and uh, read further on the topic. Um, but let's start now. So I'm Leah, I'm originally from Brittany um, and I'm working now um, at Wikimedia Germany in the Wikidata team that is developing Wikidata um, on the taking care of communication between the software engineering team and the volunteers who are adding content on Wikidata. Um, and um, yeah, so what is Wikidata? So you may have, have heard of it already. So Wikidata is one of the sister project part of the Wikimedia uh, world. Um, it is a knowledge base or a database where uh, we store a piece of information um, in a structured way, which means, and we're going to see it a bit further um, later, that um, information, all these pieces of information try to be connected with each other and also connected to the outside world and to the other databases that are already existing on topics. Um, Wikidata is multilingual, unlike Wikipedia, that all have their different uh, language version. All the languages are in Wikidata, and the goal of Wikidata is to display all the information in all the languages, which is not done yet, but um, we're on the way <laughs> with the help of all the volunteers doing that. Um, so you can access Wikidata in plenty of different languages. Um, Wikidata, just like the other Wikimedia project, is collaborative, is improved by plenty of uh, people who are adding step-by-step -step, um, information in there. Um, and um, it's released under free license, which is uh, slightly different from Wikipedia. Uh, the content of Wikidata is released under CC0, which is the license that is closed from public domain. The goal behind this is to have the data um, as much accessible as possible for everyone who would like to reuse it. Um, so anyone can reuse it without any complicated uh, system. And the idea is that the, the organizations that reuse it are very um, free to, to do it and that it's quite easy for them. Um, just like on Wikipedia, on Wikidata, we liked facts and references. We don't um, invent um, new uh, information, but we rely on external sources and references. So this is something people are really careful about. And what's very powerful about Wikidata is that it is, of course, designed by and for humans. And there are real people who edit Wikidata. <laughs> Some of them are even in this room. Um, <laughs> but Wikidata is also made for machines. And it's designed in a way that people can um, enhance their editing experience uh, with automated tools, can be bots, can be scripts, can be all kinds of things, external tools that go into Wikidata and add or um, get information from there in an automated way and in a way more efficient way than what you can do with just your two eyes and two hands. Um, and we try to make both machines and humans uh, collaborate peacefully on Wikidata. So um, very quickly, some numbers. So Wikidata was launched uh, almost seven years ago, which makes, which is, it's rather new in the Wikimedia ecosystem, right? When you think that Wikipedia is almost uh, 20 years old. Uh, Wikidata is still rather young, uh, but it already includes more than um, 56 uh, million uh, items. This is like a piece of data that we have and um, have quite a lot of active user because as I said, um, the Wikidata community is international. So people come from all over the world and edit Wikidata. Um, and in total, when you compare it to all the Wikimedia projects, Wikipedia's comments, etc. Uh, Wikidata is now the most edited one. So this is a map, this is not the most up-to-date map, but this is a map that represents all the Wikidata items that have a localization uh, on a map. So here you can see that it is a lot, and in the same time there are some zones of the world that are less covered. And this is a current issue that is going on with the Wikimedia project in general, but it's very visible on Wikidata that some parts of the world still lack 
um, of um, information and we're trying to reach to uh, specific communities that can bring their language, their, their culture and information about their um, zone of the world to um, improve the data on Wikidata. So why does Wikidata exist? Um, our favorite motto is give more people more access to more knowledge. Um, and Wikidata yeah, aims to be a free, a free and open um, knowledge base that can be read and edited by both by human and machines. And um, one of the first goals of Wikidata was to provide support for uh, the Wikipedia and the Wikimedia project in general, which it's already doing by providing, by storing the side links between the Wikipedias, then later by storing data that can be uh, displayed and reused um, on Wikipedias. But this is not only a tool for Wikipedia, that's important to, uh, to be understood. Um, Wikidata's data, data is reused on the other Wikimedia projects, such as Wikimedia Commons, for example, but also widely outside, a lot of websites, a lot of organizations are reusing the contents of Wikidata. Uh, so it's even wider than um, the Wikimedia world. And um, yeah, provide a freely reusable repository and a hub for linked open data is also something we aim for because there are outside other linked open data database that try to connect um, and describe information in the world and we don't want to be bigger than it, we don't want to be out of it, we want to be really connected to um, all the other projects that have a similar goal. So that's a very, very quick look on the structure of the data, just for you to understand that the um, information is indeed very connected. So we have the example of San Francisco here um, that has this Q item that is this unique identifier that is going to be used only for one concept, in that case, the city of San Francisco. And starting from there, you can have different properties, uh, for example, a mayor or more uh, exactly on Wikidata, we call that head of government because we don't want to make the difference between mayor or president, depending on the circle we're talking about. Um, and then that is connected to another item that's going to be the item about the person. Um, you can have the location, you can have the number of inhabitants, you can have all kinds of things. And as much as possible, we're connected to other um, entities of Wikidata that's going to be, for example, the state of California or the name of the mayor. And in other case, uh, the format of the data would be a number or um, geolocation and so on and so on. And everything is connected that way. So you will always have this idea of my item, San Francisco, um, and a statement that will include the property, for example, the mayor, head of government, and the value that in that case is going to be another item. There can be other stuff on the top of that. We have qualifiers to describe more precisely. Uh, for example, since when um, uh, this uh, person is the mayor and also include the sources and references because as said, it's important for us, but um, you will be able to see that um, directly if you go on Wikidata and start browsing a few items. So that's what we're going to do now. So I'm just going to go to for later. Wikidata that looks like this and I'm going to look for Fenling for example. So here when I look at it you can already see that there are plenty of things called Penrin and like on Wikipedia where we tr there is a page that gathers all of them here on Wikidata it's all separated concepts. So we have this different different um, towns but also um, intern local processor okay very well. So I'm going to choose this one obviously and here um, we're going to have a look quickly together at the structure of an item. So I have this label here. My interface is in English right now, so what is displayed is the English name. But um, if I change the, um, the language of my interface, it's going to show me uh, French or um, German or whatever I want. Cornish. Uh, Cornish. Um, you can try that later. <laughs> so, no, no, there is actually, there is something in, in Cornish here. Um, so for each item, we're going to have this label and we're going to have a very short description that this is exactly what helped me earlier to make the distinction between Penrin the Ton in uh, Cornwall or Penrin the microprocessor, whatever it was. Um, 
and I can also add some aliases in case I need them. And all of these labels can be entered in many, many languages, which, and this is what is very important for us to make the data um, accessible for in, in many languages. Then after that, we're going to have what we call the statements that is describing what it, what is it, what is pairing. So we can describe it as a town. We're going to have a picture coming directly from Wikimedia Commons. We're going to have all kind of other um, information that is uh, describing the thing. We're going to have the location that's shown at the map. We're going to have all kind of things. And here, for example, we have the uh, twin, uh, twin city um, that is located in Brittany. And as you can see, this is not only the name of the city, this is a link. And if I click on it, I access directly to the item of the city and so on and so on. And here I can start again browsing the different things, inception and so on and so on. Um, so that illustrates well the fact that on Wikidata we try to connect everything. So I'm going to scroll quickly to the end of the page um, to a section that can be very interesting, which is the um, external identifier. So as said, on Wikidata, we always try to be connected to the other instance, the other organizations who already provide a data about things. And um, we store the identifiers of this uh, database so we can directly link to them. Here we have Freebase, we have GeoNames ID, we have the French National uh, Library repository, we have this vision of Britain thing, I have no clue what this is. Um, but every time we saw the idea and then here it's actually transformed into a link and we can have a look directly at this vision of Britain website that is having also information about Penning. So, and ideally, what would be super great is that this website also link to Wikidata on the other direction because we try to have our unique identifiers that are very stable. So this Q, what is this? Q12, okay, a long uh, QID for Penrin that is, it's going to be stable. It's always going to be this one for Penrin so we can link to it safely even in the future. And on this page, you can also see um, the links to all the Wikipedia articles that are about this topic in all the languages that we currently have. This is also what Wikidata is doing, storing the, the links to Wikipedia here so they can then be displayed um, directly from the Wikipedias. What else did I want to show you? I think that's it for now. So here, yeah, I think it's already good for now. Yeah, so here you can see, for example, the references are, yeah, of your city in Germany, yeah, obviously. Um, and so I'm not going to get into the whole process of editing Wikidata right now. That's something we can try later if we want. But I just wanted to show you that it's extremely simple because um, the edit buttons are just here. And just like on Wikipedia, you click on edit, you do your thing, you save, and it's already published online. And uh, for example, one thing that could be really great would be to, for example, add a few labels in Cornish or the languages you speak about the topics that you care about that would be already very helpful in the future for people who want to reuse this data later. Um, but for now, let's go back here. All right, so just a quick word about um, the Wikidata community. Um, so as said, there are international multilingual uh, representing all kinds of countries and cultures and interest in many specific topics. So we have people who add content, of course, um, that's even the core of the community, but we also have people who uh, extract the data to reuse it elsewhere. We have people who program some tools, some scripts to help the other editors to edit more efficiently. We have people who um, build some external tools that can reuse Wikidata's data and make something um, great out of it, but by adding some value on top of the raw data that we store here. Um, we have some partner organization, we have people who do data donation inside Wikidata who help um, um, improving the, the data quality and so on. So we have volunteers, but we also have companies, organizations who are also part of the Wikidata community. Um, it is not necessary to have technical skills to edit and reuse Wikidata. Some uh, editors do have some, of course, um, but this is um, not mandatory. Some people have 
a lot of knowledge about what we call ontology, which is basically the way we want to organize information inside such a database. Uh, some know everything about it, some know things only on their specific topics, um, it depends. And uh, some editors, Wikidata editors, come originally from Wikipedia, but some uh, don't. Actually, uh, when starting Wikidata, we also um, gathered some other people who were more interested into uh, linked data, um, open data, all kind of things, and they mixed together with the like um, original Wikipedia uh, people um, to improve Wikidata together. And um, just a quick view on what's happening um, on the Wikimedia project around Wikidata. So I said one of the first uh, service that Wikidata provided was this uh, gathering the um, inter-wiki links and helping the Wikidata, uh, Wikipedia is linking with each other. But here you can see a few info boxes that are containing data that comes directly from Wikipedia, from Wikidata and that is um, automatically updated when some change is made on Wikidata, and for example, updating the number of inhabitants of a city or something, the Wikipedias that use this automated info box, they don't have to update it by hand, by themselves, but um, the information is automatically up updated on their info box. Um, and we also have other tools like um, something called Etheria, and that is helping the Wikipedias to generate automated lists uh, for example, the list of all the paintings from a, um, a painter, for example, and every time someone adds or updates um, a piece of information in Wikidata, this is going to be updated on Wikipedia. Um, a little teaser, um, something that's going to happen soon is that, so for now, when you want to edit data from this info box, when you spot a mistake, for example, you have to go to Wikidata, and then you're gonna have to make the edit from here, which can is not always convenient for Wikipedia editors because maybe they don't really understand how Wikidata works because the interface is also a bit different. So what we're gonna try to do in the years to come is to allow people to edit the data directly from the info box here without having to go out of the Wikipedia and understand understanding Wikidata completely. So this is a project we're working on right now. If you're interested in knowing more or uh, maybe experience it with your community, that's something we can talk about later tomorrow. Um, I will be happy to give you more details about it. So this is um, a few examples of how Wikidata can be reused on the Wikimedia project. There are more. There are Wikipedias um, that we use also uh, Wikidata directly in the content of the article who are able to generate graphs and maps out of it um, and it's not only um, Wikipedia of course on commons uh, since recently they started also having this powerful info box wiki sources also using Wikidata all kind of other projects um, do experiments about it and I just wanted to mention quickly the article placeholder but maybe you already know about it this is an example from the Welsh Wikipedia Basically, the idea is to encourage people who to create articles that don't exist yet on a topic on their own language version. We uh, display this kind of placeholder. There's not really a real article. There is no sentence. There is no paragraph here. But there is data, at least, that comes from Wikidata and that can um, make something appearing already and that can encourage people to start creating a real article based on what is already existing. So what is extremely powerful about Wikidata is not only the massive amount of data that we have here, but is all the tools that are existing around Wikidata. I just put a few examples here, but there are like hundreds of them. Um, it's actually kind of hard to keep track of them. Um, but many, many things uh, are possible on this. Um, we have tools to add data, to match with other databases, to query the data, to reuse it in all kinds of ways. Um, I definitely don't have time to present precisely some of them, but we can talk about this later. Again, here's the link to the page that's listing them all. I wanted to present you only a few of them very quickly. WikiShootMe is presenting you on a map the um, points where there is a Wikidata item existing, but maybe not no picture on Wikimedia Commons yet. And uh, here, for example, on Perrin, I believe this may be some historical monuments or um, buildings that have a Wikidata item but no picture yet, so that could be a nice idea for organizing um, 
I don't know, photo um, contest or a workshop or something to help people adding more pictures on um, Wikimedia Commons. We have games that are based on Wikidata where you have to recognize the location of the picture, for example, place it on the map. And we have the query service. The query service is a very powerful tool. I'm going to show you a few examples now. These are the train stations that are located around 100 kilometers around Paris. Um, you can do all kind of lists, poets whose fathers were lawyers, because why not? Uh, with the pictures coming from comments when you have some, of course, we can ask for the museums in Switzerland uh, and even sort them depending on how many Wikipedia articles exist on these museums. So very nice for GLAM projects, for example. Um, this one, uh, I showed it already last year. I like it very much, the place in the UK with the name starting uh and so on and so on um yes so um, the query service is a very powerful tool it is not that easy uh, to start with so that's why we're offering some um some help during the conference you can go to the sparkle workshop organized by nicola here that's tomorrow morning i believe and also later uh, we're gonna have the query booth thing where basically you can just come and ask for help if you want to build your first queries and start exploring the concept of Wikidata that way. Um, all right, and I wanted to say a word about lexicographical data because this is a very exciting new feature that is existing on Wikidata for a bit more than one year. Basically, the idea is that now on Wikidata, we don't store only information about concepts, but also about words. Um, so basically, we're describing words and phrases in all kinds of languages, and the idea is to describe uh, eventually to describe um, these languages on Wikidata and to provide it in a structured way. So you may wonder, okay, what's the difference with the Wiktionary, the, the collaborative dictionary from the Wikimedia project? Uh, the main difference is um, the fact that the data is structured, which means um, because it's really described um, piece by piece, um, it's ac more accessible uh, for um, scripts, bots, and all kind of programmed uh, tools that could want to access it. And uh, so this is just the beginning. A lot of things are missing. Um, I'm going to show you quickly what it looks like because here it's a bit ugly. Um, it looks like this. This is one of the words we have in Cornish right now. So you have the written form of the word. Then you can say, you can add information about etymology um, and then you can add the, the sense, which is basically the definition of the word with this short gloss that um, describe what it is. We can connect it to the existing concept um, in Wikidata and we can describe the different forms of the word for verbs. For example, it will be all the conjugations or all the declinations in some other languages and so on. Um, so this is just the start, but it is uh, very powerful, very promising. And for example, we believe that um, some organizations could use it to build some new forms of dictionaries, some translation tools the, for research. It's also very useful. And uh, we even started uh, building games, for example, to learn a language based on this data. So there is, there will be in the future a lot of things. Unfortunately, I don't have much more time to talk about it, but feel free to come to me anytime if you want a more detailed uh, presentation of lexicographical data. I can show you what's already existing that reuses the data. It's very exciting. And we have some organizations that already think about donating data about the language specifically. So I really believe that Wikidata can help the minority languages um, to have more visibility online um, and to be able to be reused for all kinds of uh, projects and ideas. So, um, yes, uh, we made a little graph of the uh, Celtic languages that are already existing on, on Wikidata lexicographical data. So you can see that Britain and Welsh are competing with each other. They have around 150 words each in Wikidata so far, so that's very few, and the other ones are also very few. So there is work to do, we're starting from scratch, um, but once this is done, um, the data can be reused a lot on other projects. Um, I'm almost at the end, I just put you a few links where you can get more information about Wikidata, you have a bunch of help pages on Wikidata itself, 
and Wikidata, the community is also very active in various social networks. There is Twitter, there is a Facebook group, there is a Telegram channel, all kind of things. We can talk about it further if you want. Um, and if you're lost um, on Wikidata when you're editing or trying to understand how it is, there will always be someone who's willing to help you. <coughs> That's it. I think I'm not too late. Um, do we have more time for questions? Well, a minute. If you can ask a couple of set up while you take questions. Mm -hmm. uh,